Hi guys, Richard and Forsyth here. Um, I am quite sick. I'm actually not not usually sick. I don't ever get sick, but I have the flu right now. Kind of sucks. Um, I definitely don't miss work for being sick. I usually even go to go to work if I do get a little bit under the weather. But man, I have been feeling awful. But I can't stand it anymore. I made a mess in my garage. I got to clean it up. We got a lot of work to do in here soon. Uh, which we'll talk about after I clean it up. But, you know, it's sometime after 11 o'clock at night. There's sirens outside. And it's about 35 degrees, which is cold for this Florida boy. And that's 35 Fahrenheit for, you know, Freedom Heights. <laughs> for all you people overseas who like these videos. But yeah, I'm going to get these uh, speakers behind me tidied up. And then when that's done, I'm going to go over everything. And we're going to talk about what we're doing here. Because it's going to be insane. So, uh, flu or not, show must go on, right? So in this bag we have a Halloween decoration that has a dying battery and it won't go off. Spooky. <sighs> okay. So I am sick and tired, I guess, of being sick and tired. This is basically the PA. So I want to go over with you what all the stuff is, how I acquired it, and where it came from. But let me take you back. A couple months ago, well, a little bit longer than that, uh, some bros and I got out here under the Jumbotron and watched the Avengers, the first one, um, through the PA. And at that point, it was just two PV Sub HC 18s, which I don't have anymore, I sold, and um, the Seismic Audio Mains. Of course, if you just watched the other video I did, this isn't a main anymore, now it's a sub as well. And it was pretty badass. You know, it's basically, we, we just watched it through our old live PA. You know, we, sometimes we would throw shows and we set it up and that was all well and good. Well, a friend of mine uh, gave me a lead on a storage unit filled with audio equipment that belonged to some people who owned several restaurants here on the Gulf Coast. And at that time, I saw these, which had the original PV Black Widows. This still has one left. So, I got a really good deal on these and these. These uh, PVSP5s, which are amazing live speakers. They sound really clear, project, and they're just really good. So, I've slowly been replacing these speakers with Seismic Audio 18s because they're more powerful. They extend the range a little bit lower. And uh, the old Black Widows, while they're cool, they kind of are easy to pop. So... That's what happened with that. So that covers these two guys and these two guys. Now in the last video, we talked about me and Daryl Seismic Audio Dual 15s. Well, a tweeter blew out in one, this one. So made it into a crazy sub. Because you can never have too much bass. So we have the other one left over there. <laughs> Pardon me for sniffling, guys. I, I, like I said, I got the flu. Um, so we are going to make that one into a sub as well. So anyway, long story short, another, the same friend messaged me today, or the other day, and said, hey, I have a couple things you might be interested in still left in the storage unit. One of them was this drive rack PA that I actually asked him about while I was there the first time. And then there's like a, a Galen Kruger bass amp and a RMX, uh, Q, QSC RMX, I think, power amp. So I was like, yeah, I'm interested. So I go there, I pick them up for just retarded cheap and he says hey they're just gonna throw these old JBLs away do you want them I was like 
what you know are you kidding me so he just said do you want them so i got to come home with these which this one works um the speaker's got a little bit of a flub when you get a little bit of volume to it so it'll need to be replaced this one is completely kind of farted out it's got no ass left in it at all and they're going to need to be restored so i want to do a video restoring these actually you know what i may make this little pa set up and do a whole thing so on top of that they had these harbinger pa speakers or uh 18s in there which were 1600 watt subs oddly enough again that one perfect that thing slams still good this one i'll put up a picture wolf are totally blowed out in like the worst possible way so gonna have to replace that too but once that setup is done we are gonna have a ridiculously based out pa with two top mains which are all you really need <laughs> sorry about the halloween decoration and we are going to then watch movies in here and do other stuff and if we ever go out and do another live show or concert series man will be we be able to kick people right in the chest so that's pretty awesome now i still have to get rid of this shelf and obviously clean up all this mess and then put the uh power amp system over here and i gotta find somewhere to put that other qsc power amp i got this alto mac 2.4 is just a freaking beast he's gonna be pushing the uh 3400 watt sub thingies that we're, we're building out the old pa mains and these qsc's that have built-in crossovers the gx5s i've always loved these amps and they've never let me down and uh i've been using them for years and years so these guys will be powering the mains and these two so these twin PVs are going to be run, they're 4 ohms each, they're going to be run on the first channels of each QSC amp. The two mains are going to be run on the second channels of each QSC amp. The Alto is going to be pushing the big subs, like I said. And then these four, since they're 8 ohm, 8 ohm, 8 ohm, and 8 ohm, are going to be run parallel off the 1450 watt um, other QSC amp I just got today so that'll be a 4 ohm load on each side so that's going to be some uh, ground stomping bass and I actually had to caulk the windows in my shed when we did the first theater thing because they were just shaking out so bad so I guess you could call this part one getting it organized and if the speakers get in by the weekend hopefully we can get them all put in and uh, Daryl can help me get this all hooked up because you know I love Daryl videos Oh, also, there I have another seismic woofer, but I dropped it and broke one of the posts, so I have to repair that woofer, and then it can go back in there. But anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching my channel and all the craziness I get up to. And we're almost to 3,000 subs, man. And I don't mean these kind of subs either. 3,000 of you awesome guys and gals. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time, hopefully with an update to this crazy system.